10th of September, Orchard Walk. Uh, we are in the beginning of the picking season. This is a, a rare pear called Seckel. It comes from the United States. I believe it was found growing wild in the woods in Philadelphia by a trapper. And it is said to be the finest flavoured of all pears. I might find out soon. I haven't actually had a chance to taste it first year. It's quite... The damsons, every one has been picked and sold. Uh, we could have sold more. The um, Aspalia pears here, not doing too badly. This is Burhardy. I refilled the wasp traps. Uh, they were yesterday and they are catching, uh, certainly. These pears could have done with being thinned a bit more. This is, I think, um, uh, Win uh, uh, Josephine de Malines. A little bit small. Uh, wasp traps are catching again. Should have been thinned more. It's a bit late to do much now. If I really run out of jobs to do, which is very unlikely, I'll uh, do a bit more <laughs> thinning now. Here's the plum orchard. Uh, our, our secondary plum orchard, that is, so the first one is nearly all dead now. We get this horrible disease, plum bacterial canker, various fungi attack the plum trees. Uh, so this is uh, our secondary plum orchard. Um, there's some sickness here in the trees. We've decided as, as these die out, we'll, we'll crop them if we can, uh, give them a bit more um, copper-based fungicide uh, to try and keep them alive a bit longer. But these are new pears. These are winter Nellis. Great long-keeping pear. So we're... Um, as we lose the plums here, we're planting them pears to replace them. Probably we'll carry on doing that. Yeah, the pears are not doing bad. Uh, com I've got Conference, Commies, Burhardy, one or two rare varieties, and um, Concord. For the second, we've got a decent crop of the uh, Commies, but unfortunately a lot of these are, a lot of these are not going to be saleable. Um, they may end up just getting bunged in the cider. Uh, are not going to be saleable because of this sort of scab problem. I mean, that might just be saleable, that one. Uh, it's important now to keep replenishing the wasp traps um, because the wasps, as I've proven in the past in videos in previous years, the wasps have been absolutely murderous on the pears, taking a bite out of the top of each pear and moving on to destroy the next one. Um, it's a vital. Planning the right time to pick the pears is vital. I was talking to somebody about this at uh, Winchester Farmers Market. Um, if you pick them too soon, then they'll be crunchy and they'll never, never really develop the best flavour. If you leave them too late, they'll go mushy and be completely inedible. So you do need to pick the pears a little bit before they're perfectly ripe and then store them. Um, there is an art to that and I am not saying that I have cracked it. You just need to be aware. One last thing about pears, and this is probably going to be a long video, and that is that for the second year in a row, Concord has come out number one pear. Um, these are the same treatment as the other pears. They're much a heavier crop, a cleaner crop. Um, Concord is my most highly recommended pear if you are going to grow a pear, and that has been my view now for a couple of years. There are a couple of pears I know which I think have got a better flavour than Concord. Um, however, this is a very reliable cropper. Uh, last year, in a very difficult year, this had a, a light crop. This year, in a, a funny year, where we had a very late cold spring, followed by drought, it's carrying a very decent crop indeed. Uh, now... Um, I tell you what, I think I'm going to break this up into different videos uh, and make this one on pears and do the other one, second one for orchard walk. Uh, Doyen du Comis is probably, by most people's account, the best flavoured pear. It's certainly a wonderfully good pear. There we are, there's a Doyen du Comis for you. Oh, there's another couple. Three. Okay, there's a big tree of Doyen du Comis there. There are three pears on it. This is another similar sized tree. There are no pears on it. And here's the Concord. Okay, so what are you going to grow? Well, to be fair, this is a, this is a commies as well, and this is a bit better. 
Uh, however, I've got a rather nasty lot of pear scab and you might be able to cook that or, or peel it and eat it, but you certainly couldn't take it to market. Uh, this is carrying a little bit more, although again it's that much more susceptible to scab. You see all of these, you know, we couldn't really, we'll, we'll eat these ourselves and we can't really take these to market. We can't really take these to market. Um, whereas the adjacent uh, Concord, which had exactly the same treatment, exactly the same microclimate, and there is a bit there, but these have cropped considerably better. Uh, I'm not saying don't plant commies, but out of the commies conference, Burhardy, one tree each of Williams and Sackle, there's a few rare trees as well, um, Louis Bond of Jersey. But the, the, um, the, uh, the Concord has, has come out trumps, uh, uh, and it's self-fertile as well, so if you only want one tree, uh, one pear tree, uh, in my opinion, and if anyone's got a different opinion, feel free to post. As always, uh, I would certainly be going for the um, uh, common cord. And yes, it is worth trapping wasps. The wasps may not like being trapped, but see if I care. Okay then, well I'll just stop, the, stop this video here before it gets too long and um, carry on with the orchard walk.